Roswell flight test crew back here at the Cleveland National Air Show thanks to our good friend Rick Bowman at Go Professional Cases and I'm here with Jeff Taylor. Jeff, how you doing? Very good, how are you? I'm alright, thanks. And you're with Event 38. That's which, right. Which is a kind of a UAV company. First of all, Event 38, what does that mean? That's. I think you're like an event planning company, but yeah, that's not no, it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's a funny story. It actually comes from, uh, I used to work at SpaceX and we had the uh, NASA verification events event ID one through a million and I worked on 38 and I thought that was a cool name so I was going to use it someday for something. I see. I did. <laughs> so that's, that's your company, event 38. Exactly. Alright, now tell us a little bit about what you do because it's impressive. So we build um, small unmanned aircraft for mapping and specifically for precision agriculture. So um, we can help farmers find problems in their fields or um, help them determine where to apply fertilizer or where to apply herbicides and uh, kind of increase the efficiency uh, of a farming operation. Now, I, I've heard a lot about this and I've gone to seminars about this. The difference is you guys are actually doing it, just not in this country. So where, where, where have you got these things in operation? We've got planes in 49 countries all over the world. Um, just recently we've had some uh, cool stories come out of Uganda and Belize. Uh, people doing uh, conservation, finding um, illegal fisher, fishermen in uh, protected waters. Or uh, in Uganda, in that case they were uh, planning out a potential hydroelectric dam project. Uh, so there's a million different uses um, and, and we're, we're shipping them all over the world because right now it's it's kind of unclear about how, mu how much you can use them in the U.S. Sad but true. Well, maybe an indication, if anyone from the FAA is watching, you need to get this stuff going so we can catch up with Belize. Um, anyway, so, so tell us a little bit about your aircraft here. What are its features? How does it work? So this is the E-384. It's a fixed-wing airplane. Um, it flies for about two hours. It weighs about six pounds. The wingspan, if you can tell here, is about six feet. And it's about the same length. Um, it's very lightweight. It's made of a special foam. So uh, if it hits anything, it can kind of bounce back and it's almost self-repairing. Um, and what we do is we put a camera in the bottom of it and we use that for uh, taking photographs of the ground. It's like a Google Earth, but much higher resolution. And on demand. on demand. You don't have to wait for the Google satellite to pass overhead. You're just right. whenever you want it. So you don't, this, this must be flying. This isn't FPV. You don't have a camera out the front. The only camera is pointing straight down. Right, yeah. We have no data or no uh, imagery coming back right away. We just, you know, shoot straight down, store all that data, bring it back. It's, uh, it's such high resolution, it would be um, very difficult to transmit all that back in real time. So this flies autonomously then? Correct. It flies fully autonomously. And what you normally do is plan out a a grid-like pattern, so kind of like a lawnmower, you'll fly back and forth over your target area um, to get the full coverage of what you're looking at. Got it, got it. So that's like with a computer or something, you just sit down and go click, 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 click. Exactly, yeah. Most of what you're doing is from the laptop. And just sit back and wait for the data to roll in. Right. Very slick, very slick. Well, anyway, Jeff, thank you so much for your time. This is a wonderful project. Very exciting to see this coming together for you. Love your logo, by the way. Thank you. That's a very cool logo. So, all right. From the Cleveland National Air Show with our friends at Event 38, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.